Since we last saw you, as you presented your film that's now on Netflix um, in New York, uh, yet another, in fact, several um, environmental activists, indigenous leaders in the Amazon have been murdered. Talk about the connection between that, the far-right president, Jair Bolsonaro, and Lula's imprisonment and what it could mean now that he's free. That's very serious. Uh, the indigenous leader, Paulo Paulino, was assassinated, and many killings have been happening in Brazil by the police and by militias and in the, in the Amazon by loggers and miners. And it's part of, I believe, uh, an advance of a savage, unregulated capitalism that is seeking profit for all costs. And, and um, I think what we need uh, international attention is essential in this case in Brazil. It, it helped a few months ago with the question of the Amazon, which had a 90 percent increase in deforestation compared to the previous year. And who is paying the check for the, the impeachment and Lula's — who is actually gaining from the impeachment that happened in Brazil and Lula's imprisonment? There are big corporations that are taking huge profit out of this. And could you talk a little about the change between the Dilma uh, — the uh, uh, Lula and Dilma eras and Bolsonaro in terms of the day-to-day -day lives of, uh, of working people, of the, of, of, uh, the racial minorities and of women uh, yes. in Brazil? The economic crisis started with Dilma Rousseff. There was a huge stagnation and a huge crisis and uh, augmentation of unemployment then. But it continues to rise immensely. Now, there are now 13 million Brazilians under the poverty line. And um, the, in the question of women, it's far worse. I think since uh, the election, there has been a huge spike in violence and feminicide and rapes. And in killings of people by the police, that is the most absurd. There has been a 20 percent increase in killings in Rio, just in Rio. And Rio de Janeiro has more people killed by the police than the entire United States. Five people are killed per day. And that has been incentivized by the government, which says that a police that uh, is only a real police if they kill. That is a kind of a state-led genocide that is happening in Brazil at this moment.